So unfortunately, it was about one o'clock in the morning and my daughter knocks on the door. She says, Mama, Papa, someone's ringing the doorbell. Um, I come downstairs and I can see out the window, you know, there's this big orange blaze and I'm like, oh my God, my, my artwork is on fire. Um, and I come outside, the people rang my doorbell are in the driveway and they said, you know, your, your tea is on fire. So I came out and I took a look just to make sure that it wasn't going to fall onto my house, that everything was okay, and I called the fire department. But when I came inside, she looked me square in the and she said, you're putting it up again, right? So there was, there was no hesitation, there was absolutely no fear. And as you're standing here, you'll hear all the people blowing their horns and beeping and say, go Trump and yay. I do believe this should be considered a hate crime since the legislatures have gone so far as to select different sections of the population for hate crime. It was up for three months with no incident. When that burnt down, that was the first thing I said to myself. I said, I'm building a bigger one. You know, I will defend and exercise my brilliant First Amendment right, freedom of expression, freedom of speech. Donald Trump called us. <laughs> All right, so if he called us, that means it's a story. And he spoke to Sam first, and then uh, he handed the phone to me, and he was like, hey, Scott, you know, I love your work. And I said, uh, don't, worry, don't, don't worry, Mr. Trump, tomorrow at 3 o'clock, I'm building and putting up a new one. It's going to be bigger. It's going to be huge. And I got a laugh out of him.